Hello everybody, today I'm at the Aerospace Museum of California. This is located in Sacramento, California. I've never been here before. Join me. Alright, let's head on in. We got some big planes in over there. Like the propellers or I don't know what that is, but you can see something through the glass. Thank you very much. Oh, as soon as you walk in. Here, will you put this in your pocket? I need that for documentation. Whoa, right off the bat. This is the big one right here. Like I had said in my intro, I've never been here before. I have never been here before, but we figured we'd come and check it out. Is that... And much like with any time I come to the museums, any museum really, I don't know anything about what I'm seeing, what I'm doing, so it's all about us exploring it together. So, I... really impressed by this right thing. What the heck? Look how big it is. That's so funny, I have such a big fascination with airplanes. My daddy was um, a mechanic in Vietnam. He worked on all the fighter jets, something similar to this. This is something what he would have worked on. Um, when I later went into high, or when I was in high school, I also got, um, I was trying to be recruited by the Air Force to also become a mechanic for fighter jets or Planes, I should say, not fighter jets, but planes. This is cool. Jet engine. So maybe that's why I have a fascination with planes. Air National Guard. That is... <laughs> First of all, I understand it's... Uh, it's air. That is one fierce bear. He's got roller skates on, that's awesome. Cockpit of that thing's really cool. But I guess that's probably my fascination with planes. Mm. It's in my blood. See, this is what I would have been working on. <laughs> Something similar to this, I feel. Had I went into the Air Force. They were recruiting me hardcore, but... I wanted to become a printer. These aren't that big. I was like, for this kind of a plane, I know nothing about airplanes, but I was expecting the engine to be a lot bigger. Like how oh, that one right here, it's, it's a V8 engine. Wow, okay. So that's a V8. This is a four cylinder. I think that's the size of an engine that's in my car right now. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> wow. Look at this red baron. Wow. We got the United States Coast Guard. Extremely important. We need the Coast Guard, that's for sure. Hey, and wait, that looks like... Right? Those look like the same props. They're just huge. Oh yeah. For passengers too. They said them. Uh, the, yeah, Miss the, the, Catherine the, Johnson. What was that show? What was that movie called that we just watched? Uh, Hidden, Figures. Hidden Figures. 
Now this, I recommend that show or that movie. It's on Disney Plus. But this woman right here is basically the reason why we even got our space shuttles up in, well, not to the moon, basically. It's pretty cool. She, she, um, had to create new math, like math that didn't even exist, algorithms that weren't there. So she was a really, really smart lady, Katherine Johnson. And at the time, she was a black lady, and during that time, it was all about the segregation rights, and um, she had to use a colored bathroom where she worked. They didn't even have a colored bathroom, so she had to, like, run all the way across NASA campus to go use the colored facility, which was, like, how many, I don't remember how many miles across campus, but... It's pretty cool. It's all sectioned. Wow. Wow. Oh. Not a place you want to be when it's starting up. I'm just going to say right now we're fine. Let's look like on this side. The brain power that went into like figuring this stuff out it's amazing like that air balloon people look how complex so this is the engine that's in the black bird plane operate at Mach 3 plus wow Like, I guess, well, do you think they have one of those outside? Mm-hmm. Yeah, a little RC plane. These are cool. These you can play with a remote control. We got flight crew headset. Wow. That's amazing how anything works. It just, I'm just astonished. I don't know why. Well, like, wires make things turn on and turn off, and valves and switches, and humans are smart. 50 cal machine again. We don't give ourselves enough credit. Humans are smart. This kind of proves it. It's a good angle to it, so you can see. The planes behind me. Oh, cool. That machine gun. And then there's the bullet. We have one of these bullets, but it's like a prop bullet for 50 cal. Wow. a flight jacket and scarf that was actually worn by a, a pilot, George Spinky Roberts, during World War II. It was donated by his wife. That is so cool. And up here we have the Tuskegee Airmen. <laughs> Look at that back of that jacket. That's awesome. The plane is drunk. World War II.
that's cool. Harley Davidson solo motorcycle. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Oh, this plane right here is see through. Oh, so it's not clear on this side, but the, oh, oh, I see. It's clear on the other side to show you. To show you what it looks like. I get it now. That's pretty cool. That's cool Harley Davidson, eh? Bunch of big engines. Whoa, look at that thing. There's a Navy train with the acoustic anti submarine. Wait, what? This? Mm -hmm. This is an old Navy drone? Yeah. Where's that sign at? How do you know that? Oh, it's right here. Acoustic humming torpedoes. Oh, wow. Acoustic honing torpedoes. They made this in the 60s? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, we're smart. Just, just saying. Could have something to do with it. Maybe we'll almost stop going across each other on the weekend. I think he's sleeping. Huh. Come in here. Who model of a. Uh, what is this? Well, the top is a Susa. What did you win? I mean, three. Wow. Oh, here's friends. Between them and behind them. Oh, I'll get there. Holy crap. <laughs> How do you know what everything is, right? Oh, is that a. Is that. It's a trainer. What is it? It's a trainer. Oh, a trainer. Oh. Oh, I see it. Yeah. F-106 cockpit procedures trainer. That's cool too. Peek on the inside. Holy crap. <gasps> Only thing I understand is the fuel gauge. <laughs> Coast Guard plane. This is that one over there doesn't even the writing on it, it's all faded. Let's take a look here. United States Coast Guard. Back there's the little engine, the little engine, the big engine. Hold the camera over here. 
is a plane. Eloquently goes by. Huh? Look at that sad little, um, like health, I don't know what you would call that. Like an ambulance just sitting there. No one's even looking at it. Yeah. Pito tubes. Tells you how fast you're going, like your health going. Pito tubes. Wow. Look at this. We can actually touch the plane. Got all the writing everywhere. This is cool. This is like plastic. How does the bolts, oh, they're just painted. I'm like, they can't be plastic, but they look like it. Huh? What'd you say? Can't move the rear wing. No, really not. It's cool. under a big plane yeah I was just gonna say walking under a big plane it's so cool seeing the props and everything I touched the propeller Tires. This is cool. I like being under the plane. Shade. Yeah. Oh yeah, the shade's nice. It's a gang, gang hulum, hulum of kids coming through. Helicopter. Uh -huh. Why is it shaped so funny? Yeah, such a weird tube. Oh, okay. Oh, this is cool. Hello, bear. Can you see in there? No, oh, it's just not focusing. That's located right next to the airport. <laughs> so the top half of the aircraft here, they say, is olive green. And the bottom is painted gray-blue. Huh. This guy's aircraft in flight. They're all doing the, um, I was there. Interesting. The flying box car. Just a, just a big plane. It was a large and more powerful version of the Fairchild CED2 packet. Could you see anything? I would think so. There's no lights shining anywhere. Oh, I'll go up though. It looks like it used to be able to walk through these, but they probably got a
Interesting. I haven't seen them go to that one yet. Yeah, they're doing an Amelia Earhart thing here all this week or a few weeks, but they're calling it Amelia Bearheart and bringing a stuffed bear. And I guess you just walk around and learn the history. Fascinating. It's cool that they do that here. No. No, that's not it. Oh, the boxcar plane is really mm -hmm. boxy. <laughs> wow, it's like a bus. It's got a big old fat butt on it. Yeah, it does. Fit, but this is cool. Big old FedEx delivery plane. Wow, is that thing huge? That's probably the biggest plane here by far. Look how big. I know, but like, that's what I was gonna say. Look how big this plane is, but then look how big this plane is. This plane trumps all others. Wow. I wanna go in. I know, me too. Looks cool. I'm thinking before the pandemic they let you go into a lot of these airplanes. Well, actually, let me get a photo. That is cool. Okay, so that's the kind of planes he would have worked on. I think that's it. Okay, because the one that was in there. I, I wasn't sure because it was Korean and it was World War II and it's like that might have been used in Vietnam but I don't know but all, everything he worked on was in Vietnam so well, then it must be that one it's one of these with the front end on it so we're thinking the planes that my dad worked on were probably these ones right here oh it is let me get a sh see if I can get a shot inside the engine the phantom 2 okay so he says this is the plane that my dad would have worked on during Vietnam. It's pretty cool. Michigan. Oh. Hey, remember when Carpet Baker, or... That's why we only had that apartment when I, when I first moved down to Detroit. Oh. Uh, there was an Air Force base not too far away and they were always flying shit. Didn't it say it in the plaque why this was Michigan? Mm -hmm. Kind of get near or close to something my daddy worked on. It's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. There's a button that says push. Oh no, don't tempt me. Don't tempt me. No, I won't. I want to though. So yeah, the Selfridge Air Force Base in Michigan was the last place this went to. Where was the first? It was delivered to the U.S. Air Force on May 12, 65, and assigned to the 366 Tactical Fighter Wing in Holloman Air Force Base, New Mexico. So from and then it was 65 to 86? Well, that's where it was assigned to. 
Oh, it was flown to the museum in 86. Yeah, oh, okay. 66, it was sent to the tactical fighter to the wing, which went to Vietnam for two combat tour. Yeah. That's cool. So this definitely would have been the kind of plane my dad worked on. Or maybe even this one, who knows? Hard to say. Hard to say. I know if you go drive through parts of um, Tennessee and you find see water um, towers or containers on the side of the road, my daddy built those too. He was a boilermaker, so it makes sense. <coughs> my karma. Oh, this is a bomb? Yeah, it sure is. Or it was a bomb or some tree. Yeah, a dummy. Mm -hmm. Right there. This one? Yep, the 14 Tomcat. Oh. It's Tom Cruise and Goose. Oh, okay. Talk to me, Goose. Talk to me, Goose. That's funny. You mean, oh yeah, Maverick and Goose. Yeah, yeah this is a two-person fire. Oh, okay. Wow, these things are huge. Mm -hmm. well, Holy they, moly. They get wider too because the wings sold out for slower. And they, they actually land these on the carriers. Yeah. Holy crap. They're so big. I just want to come back. Oh, that's cool. The light. Big engines. Oof. Yeah. They got them wooden. This one's open. Nope, it's not. Never mind. See, here's the hook to catch the cable on the right there. That's it? Yeah, that's just awesome. That's it? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> that's so small. Oh, it's been scuffed a few times. She's been caught. Wow, that's that's impressive. A little missile packet. A few vehicles at the museum, but <laughs> ah, the next best part about flying space flight. Beginning of man's space flight. So this is probably ever I don't know who doesn't love space. Who isn't into it? I don't know. I'm a little winded, not gonna lie. That was a hike back in. This is cool. Explorer woman way. Oh, yeah. oh, I thought they were talking about this. So there's Sputnik. <laughs> oh, that's a replica of Sputnik. There's satellite. And then there's Explorer 1, our first satellite. But it didn't last too long up there. This is like 111 days and then it just burned and came crashing back down. We tried. Oh, that's cool. All the tools used on the Hubble. Very space, spaceman-esque. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Near little miniatures. All the rockets used during the Apollo missions. Mercury Redstone rocket model. Mercury Atlas rocket model. 
Now the Mercury Atlas model. Remember when we were watching? Okay. Yeah, and the um, the movie I was talking about before about the space figures, they kept talking about the Atlas rocket, and that's what they were using to get to the moon. This movie before we got because we still got a job. We got to go to the moon, and then there's the. Oh yeah, that's right. They they hadn't gotten to the moon yet, but that was where they were heading next. They they got to space, I should say. That's pretty cool. Replica Buzz's suit. How how does that even protect them in the vacuum of space? You know what I mean? It's just canvas. Makes you wonder. That's just unfreaking real to me. How we were even able to do it. Here are some space items. This is cool. We got a dancing Snoopy pen carried into lunar orbit aboard Apollo 8. <laughs> we got a Charlie Brown doll carried aboard Apollo 10. LEM to within 9 miles of the moon's surface. Well, wow, that's pretty cool. A sample of re-entry heat shield from Apollo capsule. <laughs> My friends at the McClellan Air Force Base, my very best wishes for your highest flight. Huh. This is cool. Here's the famous Apollo 11 badge. Man on the moon. Hmm. Oh, that's sweet. That's the headset worn by General Phillips while in mission control during Apollo 11 launch. <laughs> that's so sweet that they got that. So here is a full pressure flight suit. It's incredible that they were able to figure out any of this stuff. Oh, there we go. Edwin Buzz Aldrin in front of the lunar module. So Apollo 15 was our last. This says Apollo is soya, Soyuz. Hmm. I think it was outside. Is that like an actual satellite of what's going on at Earth right now? Wouldn't that be cool if it was? So is that a live... Uh, of the Hubble Space Telescope? You no. think it's smaller? Bigger. Bigger. How much <laughs> yeah. bigger? Wow. Uh, five times that. Okay. Six times. Have you ever times. been on a school bus or seen a school bus? Yeah. About the size of a school bus. Wow. About 43 feet long, 14 feet wide, weighs about 12 tons. And it's named for an American astronomer by the name of Edwin Hubble. And Edwin Hubble was active in his... Uh, um, sun in the middle and objects orbiting. Satellites. Not satellites, kind of like satellites, right. but what, 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 what would you call that system? It starts with an S. Solar. Solar system. <laughs> we know these. It's how, just like we're how many, how, many planets, how many planets in our solar system? Depends on how many Yeah, it depends on who you're talking to. <laughs> so if, if today, 
what are the what are the kids taught today? Eight. 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 And when we were going to school, how many? Nine. So controversy there. So yeah. like we primarily looked at the visual spectrum of light and a little bit of ultraviolet and a little bit of uh, infrared. James Webb, using these sensors that you see here, is primarily going to look at the infrared spectrum of light. As a result, it's going to see out further than Hubble ever could. So that 176 billion galaxies. I can't wait to see we what estimate. it's over. And, and, so it's, a, and, and it's, a, it's a launch in, in conjunction with the European Space Agency. So they're actually using e ESA's launch facility in French Guiana. Mm. This is where it's going to go up from. So you can watch, you know, go to the uh, NASA.gov site, yeah. and in October, they'll, I'm sure they'll have updates. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I have NASA cool. on YouTube usually, so yeah. I watch them I'm through sure, there. I'm sure YouTube Ooh. will have it too. I'm sure right. YouTube will have it. Too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, any, yeah. any questions at all? No, we're in the gift shop. Okay. What are these little helmets? They're so cute. And they say NASA on them. <laughs> That's cute. Mm -hmm. I've seen this one. Oh, yeah, that one. Hmm. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that look at the Aerospace Museum of California. Try not to block the whole thing. That was really informative. One of the coolest things we learned is that they're going to be replacing the Hubble telescope with an all new telescope that can see in infrared. So that's pretty neat. Okay, and if you like that, make sure to subscribe. It helps you stay in loop with what I'm doing next. But yeah, please subscribe. It really helps you stay informed with what I'm doing next. Hit the like button if you like this. I will see you in the next one. Bye. of the IELTS and bridge right there. It's really gorgeous. Sacramento Sun walking. Totally. Such a cute little sandwich and ice cream shop. I love how it smells. It really does smell it keeps me going until it's time for wine. That used to be me. I used to drink coffee and wine. Now I do neither. That's so weird.